Hey, what is up guys? Welcome to my in-depth guide for stats on Torbjorn, that old guy that makes them turrets. But anyways, let's go ahead and jump right into it and get started. So first off, his basic attack is the rivet gun. You have 18 shots in the magazine and it's got a slower reload time. Most of the heroes have a reload time of 1.5 seconds, but he's got a reload time of 2 seconds and the fire rate is 1.7 per second. It deals 70 damage anywhere on the map, but it does arc, so keep that in mind that at longer distances, you will have to aim just a little bit higher because it does drop off. Now, it doesn't drop off from damage, it just drops off as far as how accurate it is because it does uh, kind of go down over range. His next ability, or his alternate fire, is the rivet gun as well. It's the same gun, so it's, again, 18 shots, but it does cost three per shot to fire this. It's a more of a shotgun, I would say, Say, and uh, it deals um, uh, 4.5 to 15 damage and its fire rate is a little bit slower at 1.3 per second. It actually fires 10 pellets and the pellets do drop off on uh, damage as far as range goes. So it deals anywhere from 4.5 to 15 points of damage. I'll give you guys a picture for reference uh, for that and it deals a maximum of 300 damage per burst because it shoots out 10 pellets and if you are in uh, a it's 15 meters for the uh, range at which it'll deal uh, 15 points of damage and I'll give you guys a picture for reference in just a moment but um, it can deal up to 300 points of damage because it shoots out 10 and if they deal 15 damage each and they are all headshots you can actually insta give a lot of people by just right clicking them or using your alternate fire and yeah you can do th up to 300 points of damage so very very good at close range Ranges. Um, even at further ranges, if you have your turret already hitting people, it can be uh, still a little bit decent just to uh, pick off targets that are relatively low. Uh, his next ability that he has is the Forge Hammer. So uh, the fire rate or its swing rate, because it is a melee weapon, is 1 per second. It deals 75 damage. Uh, keep in mind though that this is a weapon that you have to swap to. It's not his uh, melee attack. Uh, it, this is a melee weapon, but you do have to swap to it. So it deals 75 damage and it upgrades uh, turrets uh, up to level 2. Maximum is 3 if you use your ultimate. It'll upgrade the turrets up to level 3. That's the only way that you can actually get your turrets up to level 3. Uh, and the turret must be at full HP to actually be upgraded. So if your turret is damaged, you will actually have to... Uh, basically repair it or heal it essentially until uh, it gets to max HP then it will start building uh, the turret to level 2 and it takes 5 hits to upgrade the turret. Next up we have his sentry gun. So uh, his sentry gun uh, stats are uh, going to be 14 damage per shot and its range is 40 meters. A good reference for this would be from the top of the uh, building that has the glass. Uh, I'll give you guys uh, a, a reference of meters and, uh, again later on in this episode, but uh, its range is 40 meters and uh, it deals uh, 14 damage per shot, but it does shoot at two uh, shots per second, so essentially it's going to be 28 per second. And uh, it does have different HP depending on the level of the turret, so at level one it'll have two shots per second with 150 HP. Uh, 4 shots per second with 300 HP at level 2, 5 shots per second, and 800 HP at level 3. Uh, the level 3 also gives rockets. Rockets deal 14 damage and it shoots 4 rockets out. Uh, next up, his armor pack. Now there's a lot of stuff to go over uh, as far as the armor goes, but anyways, every time... Uh, you get a uh, every time someone dies, 25 scrap drops whenever someone dies. It costs 50 scrap to create uh, the armor pack. Only allies and yourself can pick it up. The max is one stack per hero, so you can only have 75 armor per hero um, from the armor pack. Uh, so a good reference uh, for 40 meters is actually where I'm standing right now to the other side uh, that is perpendicular to me, uh, and that is. Um, uh, th where the uh, Widowmaker is currently standing right now. I know it's hard to see, but I'll give you guys a reference uh, for uh, range in just a second. But uh, anyways, uh, armor in this game it reduces the amount of damage that uh, you will be taking by 5 per shot. Shotguns count as one shot, though. It won't count each individual pellet uh, unless the damage is under 10. So if anything is dealing under 10 damage, it deals 50%. So for example, Tracer deals 6 damage, so at that point it will deal 3. A anything else in the game, it will reduce it by 5 per shot. Otherwise, Tracer would only be dealing 1 damage, which would be absolutely terrible. But yeah, it just reduces it by 5 per shot. Um, and like I said, anything that shoots multiple at once, like a shotgun, all of that shotgun, uh, it'll only count as, like, the all of the shotgun comes out at once, so it just reduces it 
all that damage by five, not five per pellet. So keep that in mind as well. Uh, next up is ultimate, which is the Molten Core. It uh, makes turrets from level two go straight up to level three. It gives the turret 500 more HP for a total of 800, and it gives him an additional 300 HP for 500 total. And it also increases all attack speed. So um, your basic attack uh, will go from uh, 1.7 to 2.5 and his alternate attack which is the shotgun goes to 1.75 from 1.3 and his hammer from two uh, uh i'm sorry f uh from one it goes up to two so it's basically double so you can upgrade your turret much faster um in addition to that you can actually molten core anywhere on the map uh, and uh, it's more effective obviously if your turret's alive uh, generally you want to build your turret and then you want to ult uh if your turret is dead try not to uh, ult and then create a turret because sometimes what will happen is if a Widowmaker is in like good range She'll be able to essentially counter that. So yeah, definitely keep that in mind as well uh, Next up I want to give you guys some images uh, For references so you guys can uh, get a good idea for like distances uh, I guess so let's let's get rid of this image real quick So you guys can see that play of the game and like I did a lot of damage I know like I, I died I think twice this game and I, I had like 20 plus kills But it, he's a very easy hero to learn how to play uh, Once you learn where to place the turrets because that's really all it comes down to you'll see that I had 50 seven percent of kill participation in this and i felt like uh it, i was sitting there literally just building turrets and then just autoing once in a while and i think you get much more out of him simply from your turret as long as your turret is placed in a relatively good spot look at 21 eliminations pretty good stuff indeed but anyways let me go ahead and give you guys a good uh image for a reference of uh, where you uh, can go for uh, as far as uh, like the meters go. Uh, so this is 15 meters. Uh, this will give you guys a reference for that. So this is the max distance at which you will deal uh, 15 points of damage. So at this point, you're not gonna be able to really deal 300 points of damage because it does spread. But this will give you guys an idea as far as distance goes. This, like I said, is 15 meters. The square itself uh, on the contestant point is 20 meters. So that can give you guys an easy little reference for that. And over on the, uh, like, right where the, the A is on damage, like if you go up a little bit more, that top perch versus the perch that's like right behind me, that's 40 meters. So um, behind me and like up the stairs. So that other like little like window where you see a lot of people, you'll see like Widowmakers set up there. That that to the other like uh, bridge area, that's 40 meters. Uh, so your turret can still hit up to that like door area and that little bridge area. Um, and then let me give you guys another like, um, image that I wanted to share with you guys because I think it's kind of important. Let me like make it a little bit bigger for you guys. But anyways, so this is something that's a, I want to say it's a glitch or bug. I don't think this is actually intended, but the laser does go through walls to track, which uh, it, it like, it's not that the laser not only tracks through walls, but you can still see over on the robot, you can still see that blue line. It goes all the way through the level, uh, which it, it does reveal the enemy. So that is something I feel like that should be changed in the future. And I want to say that that's something that they will change. Um, but it will also shoot out of range. Its range is 40 meters, but occasionally it'll just shoot um, outside of the, its normal range. I have no idea what causes that. I try to get some scenario where it recreates that and it does it every single time. But you can see uh, it's really easy to do on the training map, uh, specifically to be able to use the glitch or bug that it lets the turret shoot through walls that I, I understand that the laser is tracking him through the wall that does that does uh happen quite frequently but sometimes it will also shoot through some walls and it's not lag compensation where like you know you just turn around like you're just around the corner and then it kills you it will straight up shoot through walls again i have no idea why this is happening or what causes this or what uh, you can do to recreate this but on the training max specifically if you put the turret on like the ramp area it will actually hit the training bot uh, as you guys can see and you guys can easily recreate the scenario multiple times i've cr recreated it multiple times it will straight up just shoot through the wall again i have no idea what causes this if you guys actually know what causes the turret to actually shoot through the wall i would love to know and like i said sometimes it will shoot outside of its range i have no idea what causes that either it just happens to shoot sometimes out of that 40 meter uh range uh which it should be its maximum but anyways i uh, hope that helps this video helps you guys out and learn and um maybe you guys learn something new if you guys have anything else to add to this how Feel free to add something down below in the comment section because, uh, yeah, that's at least my experience with Torbjorn. And I'm not a Torbjorn main, so I won't be uh, playing him very often. But I think that uh, 
a lot, a lot of these glitches, uh, they, they need to be fixed though, honestly, because you will straight up sometimes get shot through a wall and like I said, recreate the scenario if you would like to see it your guys itself. But yeah, I think the laser shouldn't go through the walls, um, although that's not that big of a deal, but getting hit through a wall is like really not acceptable by any means. But anyways, thanks for watching guys and I'm signing out.